virgin forests in northern Argentina for as far as the eye can see. Like the Amazon rainforest in neighboring Brazil, these forests help counter greenhouse gases. They're also crucial for minimizing landslides and floods, which is why Argentina passed landmark legislation to protect forests 17 years ago. This was followed by measures to restrict the use of fires to clear fields and laws to protect wetlands and glaciers, which mining activities can put in peril. But the new libertarian president wants to repeal or radically modify environmental legislation. All those policies that blame mankind for climate change are false. And all they want with those policies is to gather funds to finance lazy socialists who write third-rate papers. Millet says radical change is needed to fix Argentina's chronic economic problems. But environmentalists argue that Millet's real aim is to favor big business, especially those owned by his closest political and economic supporters, such as Eduardo Elstein, who accompanied the president to New York last month. Elstein runs the Irsa Corporation and is one of Argentina's biggest landowners. That includes the El Pozo estate here in Salta. An area roughly six times the size of the city of Buenos Aires has already been cleared here for crops and cattle. But the native forests on the other half of this gigantic property, the ones that you see behind me, cannot be touched by their owners because they fall under the protection of Argentina's environmental protection law, at least for right now. Si se modifica. If the law is modified, he'll be able to clear the remaining 150,000 hectares he owns. The same goes for Millet's political ally, former President Mauricio Macri. He also owns forest land in Salta that he'd be able to clear for planting soy specifically. On the outskirts of Buenos Aires, a real estate project is being built on an enormous wetland, once exclusively home to birds and capybaras. These giant members of the rodent family are being quickly displaced Rolling back on Argentina's environmental conservation, if approved by Congress, will accelerate the disappearance of natural resources and fauna that, until now, have been safeguarded by law. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Salta, Argentina. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.